Hey guys, Dr. Chad uh, here for our second in a series of supplements for the prevention of migraines. Uh, I'm going to slaughter this name many times in this video, so bear with me. Today it is Fever Few, F E V E R F E W. Um, as always, I reviewed a lot of articles looking at Fever Few. I reviewed a total of uh, six articles. Uh, to be fair, two of the articles were meta analysis. Uh, so again, a meta-analysis is looking at multiple studies and uh, kind of pull the best from those studies. Uh, the meta-analysis went from 1966 to 2019, so we got a lot of data on fever few. Uh, these are all animal, I'm sorry, sorry, these are all human studies. There were no animal studies that I was able to find. Uh, fever few is a plant, it is a leaf. Um, in these studies, they use uh, normal leaves, so basically freshly picked, and they also had dried leaves. Uh, what they talked about with these leaves, it has a very bitter taste, which is why they had to use a lot of dry products and pills. Um, from a side effect profile, there was no long-term data. Uh, they talked about people taking this for many, many years where they did not note any side effect. Uh, they mentioned swelling of the mouth, uh, sometimes a numb mouth, but that would go away. Uh, they also mentioned what they called a post fever few syndrome. Um, and these are people that took it for years that stopped taking it, kind of had generalized aches and, uh, and muscle cramps, uh, but it went away within a couple of days. So this was not a permanent effect. Um, all that being said, looking through all this data, digesting it, uh, the evidence is so-so. Uh, I'm not impressed, to be honest with you. Um, the, the, the studies were not great. Uh, there were not huge number of patients, but all that being said, even the studies that were decent, uh, the outcomes were not uh, really dramatic. There were some studies that showed a statistical significance of the efficacy of it, but not groundbreaking. You know, talking about a patient going from like eight headaches a day to 7.2, uh, I don't really know what to make of that. Uh, so again, looking at all this, I, I just, I can't sit here and recommend uh, this supplement as a prevention for migraines. Um, if there's any of my viewers that have taken it and have good experience, please share. Um, I have had patients in the past that have taken this that had good experience, uh, but again, I can only base my opinions on the medical data that I was able to review, and the authors of all these studies pretty much uh, agree with this statement uh, that the evidence is mild, it's mixed, it's still unknown, um, so I really cannot sit here and recommend this as a supplement based on the data that I've looked at. Uh, the dose that they use is about 100 milligrams a day, uh, but they also talked about when you're using a, um, a, a freshly plucked plant, uh, which is the, the, the not dried, uh, that's hard to determine exactly what dose is in it. Uh, they don't know exactly how it works. They talked about it preventing serotonin release from uh, platelets. Uh, they also talked about changing calcium transmission, but again, they had no definitive answer as to how it worked. Uh, so again, summary, uh, if you want to take fever few, have at it. Um, you may get a swollen mouth or a numb mouth, uh, but I cannot sit here and tell you that it's going to be groundbreaking for your migraines. So I uh, hope this is helpful. Again, please interact with me, share your stories of uh, yourself or anyone you know that's taken this, and I'm uh, happy to have an open dialogue if uh, you have some information that I was not able to look at. Uh, as always, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, we're going to keep this conversation going on the migraine prevention, and we'll have a new supplement real soon. Take care, guys. Thank you. Thank you.